I got these Steve Madden shoes in Las Vegas. Thank you, Trisha Murphy Madden. Love them. And they're my shoes that I'm going to make spinach kale lasagna tonight. So, first and foremost, you turn the oven bake for 350. Start. And I will show you the ingredients to my kale and spinach lasagna. I need five or six cups of kale and spinach. I'm going to use 14 to 15 ounces of firm tofu. I'm going, going to use both basil and also oregano in about one tablespoon each. One half teaspoon of sea salt, four to six, it depends on your taste, cloves of garlic. That's all going to go into the Cuisinart. I also need, this is really cool, and you can find these at any health food store. It's brown rice pasta. You don't have to cook it prior to, because you're gonna cook your lasagna for one hour after it's created. Then, Bruce has made his own marinara sauce, because all the marinara sauces that we looked for in the supermarket or the health food store all have oil and Bruce and I are both oil free and if you come to One Day to Wellness you will know why for sure but this has got a little red wine, it's got seasoning, it's also got rosemary from our garden. I also have a glass of Merlot for sipping slowly as I cook. So, excuse me, hmm, I am ready to go. So, I'm going to take my tofu, and I'm also going to put it into my Cuisinart, just like this. I'm going to take my tablespoon of oregano, and I will put it in there as well. And I will also put my tablespoon of dried basil, put it in there as well. Take the top off so it's a little bit easier to put it in. There we go. Alrighty, and my garlic right here. Now, Bruce and I love a lot of garlic, so this might be a little too much for you, but for us, it's handy dandy. And then just a little bit of sea salt. Now, we go very light on the salt, because if we need more salt, we will put it in, in post. Okay, hold your ears, my little friends. Here we go. It's gonna chop down there. You get this into a paste. So notice it's turned into a paste right here. So then, very simply, this is how I make my lasagna. You take the marinara sauce and you place that at the very bottom, just like this, and you form a light coating on the bottom of your pan, just like so. Now, Bruce and I love a lot of marinara. So we put a little extra on. You can do how much marinara that you'd like. Then I'm going to take my brown rice noodles and I'm going to place them are those right. Cooked? No, they are not cooked because they're going to cook after the fact. Then I'm going to take this and I'm going to put this on the top. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so great. Okay. Now it's okay if you're just a little messy because it's all yeah beautiful colors. Bruce, when you have colors like this, what is that telling you about the food? Mindy, that tells me that there's a tremendous amount of antioxidants in that delicious dish, and we all want to eat a lot of antioxidants. The colors are the antioxidants. Yeah, it's like the easy to remember. Just eat sure. a lot of colors of plants and fruits. Okay, so then you're just gonna do the, uh, that exact same thing again. So you're gonna put the marinara on the top, and again, Bruce and I love the marinara. Tomatoes are very high in lycopene. Bruce, tell me about lycopene. Lycopene is also a great antioxidant, and it has been shown through some limited studies to help fight and prevent prostate cancer. Now, if you notice what I did there, is I actually, I had two over here and I did one over here. I'm now going to switch it around. I'm going to do one long ways and two this direction. So, Mindy, those lasagnas, they will cook 
They'll soften up in the oven, is that yeah. right? Yeah, they'll cook right in the oven, and you're going to cook it for well, We one. don't know, because we've never made it before. <laughs> We're going to cook this for one hour in the oven. I actually, someone from, oh gosh, SCW. Was I it think it? so. SCW in Dallas gave me this recipe, I believe. I hope I have that right. And let me tell you something. We but are so simple. adventurous that we actually will make it on camera for the very first time. And then, guess what? One more time! Here we go. This is going to be spectacular. Or it's not. No, just kidding. It's going to be spectacular and wonderful. Here we go. And this guy right here. And if you notice, all the ingredients, nothing is, nothing is oil. Nothing is harmful to your health. Remember, you have health-promoting foods, and you have disease-promoting foods, and everything in this dish is a health-promoting food. If we cooked traditional lasagna, it would have what? It would have cheese. And is, meat. And meat. Ground cow. Oh, my gosh. Probably from a... A feeding operation 7, different that cows. was yes, yeah, seven different seven thousand cows and one ground beef patty. That's pretty disgusting to think about. Anyway, we're not going to think about that right now, are we? Okay, last layer. Oh, this is good. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. And that goes on there. Okay, what's beautiful is you smothering that on that lasagna <laughs> and those golden shoes. Wow. Actually, they're not, they're not gold. All right. Last little bit here. This is raw footage here. This is awesome. Ain't no editing. Okay. And that's going to that's gonna end it. It's beautiful, gorgeous, amazing. Hold that up for me. I'm going to take it over. It really does look nice. Yeah, it does well, look let me great. Get a zoom up in that. Oh, yeah. Yum. I want to eat it already. Okay. And we're going to put it over into the oven. We are going to cook this at 350 preheated oven for one hour. Okay, here it goes. Ding, 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 ding. And we will meet you back here in one hour. And we are now an hour later. We had a nice little dance party. So we're gonna take this out of the oven. Now I have to preface this by saying, hang on, I need two. There we go, that's better. Always safety first, for sure. So, about 15 minutes ago, I looked in on this little <clears throat> wonderful dish and I noticed that the lasagna noodles that I put on top, because I hadn't cooked them prior to, they need to be inside of the mush. So make sure that you don't put any lasagna noodles on the top. It's lasagna time. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is the first time for me, first time for you. Here we go. So, spinach. yes, it's got spinach, it's got kale, kale. lasagna. Mm -hmm. I gotta tell you, it's great. Is it? It's so good. I can't wait. Now, the tofu makes it super creamy, so that's your cheese element. Mm. I put about a little bit of nutritional yeast, but let me tell you something. Do you cook this with nutritional up. yeast? Mm, I do. You know what, actually? I'm gonna do this. Because it is so good already, but I think just a little nutritional yeast. Follow me here. So I'm gonna put a little nutritional yeast in. Now, what you're seeing. Oh, that's whoa! a lot of nutritional yeast, dog. Okay. Okay. That Maybe. That's good too, though. That's good. Nutritional yeast is awesome. Bruce, what is nutritional yeast actually? It has B12 in it. It's actually, uh, it's grown from um, molasses mm. algae. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. It was really good before nutritional yeast, but 
with the cheese. It adds just that little bit of cheese to it. Mm. I mean, this is good stuff. So no fat here, right? You have the tofu that's beautiful and wonderful, and that's a protein. You have the vegetables, which is the kale and the um, uh, spinach. And you've got the tomatoes, and you've got all the spices. You have hardly any salt. You've got a ton of garlic, which is amazing. And you have that brown rice pasta that it just, there. the texture is great. BruceandMindy.com to get this recipe. This is amazing and wonderful. It is kale, spinach, lasagna.